This right here is a screenshot of probably the page that you're looking at. This is the Khan Academy YouTube channel, and I thought I would walk you through not only the YouTube channel, but our website and our web application so that you see what's available and hopefully you'll find something that's useful. A good place to start is the playlists. And YouTube lets me list 10 of the top playlists, but there's actually a lot more than that. And in order to see all of the playlists, you just scroll down here. And once again, this is at you know, youtube.com slash Khan Academy. And to see all the playlists, you click here, see all playlists. And then you'll see the list of all of them. So not just the top 10. And you know, if you look right here, some of those playlists that aren't included on that, you know, I have one on the Paulson plan, I have one on statistics, I have all of these California standards tests. Um, I don't know if GMAT problem solving was on the top one, but if you want the complete list of playlists, click on that little link I just showed you. And the playlists really are the best way to get the updated lists of the videos I'm making because it usually takes me a little lag between uploading it onto YouTube and then putting it on our website. Although our website, I think, has a much better navigation structure for accessing the site. So once you, if you're interested in a given playlist, for example, let me see, maybe you are interested in physics, just click on that playlist and you'll see them all in the best I could do to figure out the order that you should watch them in. For the most part, they were recorded in an, with an order in mind, but sometimes we switch gears from projectile motion to electricity and magnetism. So it's just a suggestion of the order you should look at them in. And I'll do more on that on the Khan Academy, the actual, um, the actual website. So to get to the website, you could just click on khanacademy.org. I don't know if you could read this up here. But it's, it, the, the goal of really the site is to just give you a better navigation structure for what's already on YouTube. And you see here, I have to update this, we actually have over 800 videos. This says 700. But if you see them all here, they're, they're all listed by subject matter. Some videos, a few of them are listed in more than one subject, if it makes sense. You have vectors are in physics and in pre-calculus. Um, and there's a bunch of concepts like that, especially in the financial playlist. But you can see there's 700 videos. And the ones that were really important to kind of structure a little bit better than just a list, I've made it, I've, I've produced them on separate pages. So for example, the SAT preparation, you click right here on you know More. And it'll actually go to a page that has all of the SAT, uh, all of the SAT problems divided by divided by what page they're on or what section they are on and actually by the problems. So if you go here, and I've told you, I've uh, you know I recommend this in this on this page right here. Just go buy the SAT book. We've worked through all I think it's 405 problems in it, and we explain how to do them. So if you don't know how to do problem number 13 on page 584, you just click right there, and it, it'll explain how to do problem 13 on page 584. So this is the screenshot that it should just come up, and this is just plugs into YouTube. So if you don't know how to do that problem, just click there and. You'll hear someone who sounds suspiciously like myself explaining how to do problem, well, starting problem number 11. Anyway, I don't want to confuse you too much, so let me close this. So just going back to the actual site, all 800 or so videos are there. And then if you want to use the uh, adaptive web application we've made, and actually this was the, the genesis of Khan Academy. It started with the web application. We later integrated the videos into that, although now the videos have taken on a life of their own. You click here for the free adaptive math program, and I have it right here. It'll, you'll get a screen like that. You can log in. You can register, first of all. It's all free. And as a username, let me just log in as my cousin. I don't want to remember the password. Then, so this is my cousin's account. And so it'll start all students at literally 1 plus 1 equals 2. And it probably makes sense to show you what the knowledge map looks like. So you click on the knowledge map. And then you should see a screen that looks something like this. And it's important to use Firefox, because we use we take advantage of cutting edge technology. But right here, you start at basic edition. And as you get streaks of those right, it moves you up to each of the next concepts. So these lines right here are just, they just show the dependency for the next concept. So once you know basic multiplication, you're ready for level two multiplication and basic division. And this goes all the way up to, it goes up to, you know, this is, these are a lot of algebra, algebra two concepts. And it even goes to pre-calculus and a little bit of calculus. 
and some trigonometry and geometry here. The modules covered in the web application are a subset of the videos. The videos go much more advanced into differential equations and uh, multivariable calculus and, of course, finance and economics. And our goal with both of these is actually to cover everything, everything you might ever want to learn. So one day there, this knowledge map might go off into the you know law or um, grammar, and you know I'll make videos on philosophy and history and all of the rest. But I'm I'm doing the low hanging fruit where I think there's a lot of demand first. But I'm very open to recommend suggestions and recommendations, and uh, I'm trying the best I can to keep pace. So I, right now I have two or three unfinished playlists, and I will get to those eventually. But this is the knowledge map. And that show, that's kind of a, a curriculum for the students. And it see, they get to see where they are on it. So my cousin right here, he's become proficient in these brown modules, in these light brown modules. And these orange modules are the leading edge of what he's working on right now. Let me show you what that means in the context of his exercises. So if he clicks on exercises, I think it's taking a little extra time because I'm capturing my screen. These are the leading edge modules that he's working on right now. So for example, if he's, you know, let's see, multiplying level one multiplying expressions. This would be something that he he should be working on right now. And if you go there, it gives you these algebraic binomials and it wants you to uh, multiply them. And if you know the answer, you can just click on the answer and, and and your streak would build. But if you don't know how to do it, it'll actually give you hints. So you every time you click hint, it'll tell you a step of essentially how to use the distributive property to solve this. And what well, what I think is cool about this is that it'll generate an infinite number of problems for you. So and it'll, and with each problem, it gets its own custom solution. So you'll never run out of uh, problems to do. So if it takes you a thousand problems to figure out how to multiply these algebraic expressions, it will give you a hundred problems. And if you know how to do it, it you know, if, well, let's say you you did it wrong and you check your answer, it'll give you a, a frowny face. And but if once you know the answer, you click there and you check it. It'll give you a smiley face. It should give you a smiley face. Oh no, I didn't check on the right one. It's that one. And you get your smiley face, and you correct. Go to the next question. It generates a new problem. If you are very comfortable with this type of problem and you want the system to know about that, and we use this really for analytics purposes. And if you have a teacher or a guardian who wants to know how you're doing, you can actually rate your own comfort level. This right here, this streak, this is actually uh, as you get problems right, it will grow in length. And to become proficient in a given module, you have to get five or 10 in a row right. And if this problem isn't enough, and the hints aren't enough, and you're like, gee, I have no idea to even how to approach these, you just click on Video. And a video box will open up. And videos that explain how to multiply expressions, in this case, will start up. And then, and then you're, you're hopefully good to go. You watch this video, and you say, oh, now I know how to do that. And now I can just do five or 10 problems in a row. And I become proficient in that concept. I think I say welcome to the presentation too much. But I think you get the general idea. So going back to exercises, not all the exercises look just like that. Some are more visual than others. Let me, so for example, let me find one that will be more visual for you. So level one functions would look something like this. Actually, it would look exactly like this. So it's asking, what's you know? This is a function definition. It's actually a visual function definition. It says, what's f of four? Well, if you know, well, the input is four, and then f of four is three. But if you don't know how to do that, you click on hint, and it says, okay, you go to x is equal to four, and it draws that in for you, and it says then f of four is equal to three. So it really kind of teaches you to read this this visual function definition. And this is my cousin's work. He's gotten five in a row, and that's why he became proficient in it. And he's very comfortable with it. And so there's a whole range of modules that you can work on. And we're always building new ones. And if you're interested in contributing, let me know. And we actually keep track of very granular data. So if you just want a, a sense of things, let me see if this is the one that. And I'll do a separate video for teachers and educators so they really see the, the level of granularity that we keep track of at Khan Academy. We really literally keep track of when problems are done, um, you know, when students are watching videos, how long it's taking them to do videos, anything you'd want to know about, and, and aggregating the data in terms of you know, what's the standard deviation, which students might need more help in certain concepts, and all of the rest. But it, it's, well, it's, it's keeping kind of fine granular uh, data on everything my cousin is doing. And actually, 
Well, I won't go into that right now. I'll do that on the analytics videos. But this should give you a pretty good sense of at least the resources that are available to you. I think for most of you, the video library really is, you know, at the Khan Academy channel, really is kind of the, uh, the most useful or maybe the easiest to use. But I do encourage you to use the web app. And, uh, and please contact me if you have any questions.